Hello and welcome back to worldpokertour.com for coverage of WPT Prague. I am here with Mr. Tony Dunst, member of the WPT Champions Club. Tony, first of all, let me hit you with an easy question. Sure. What was the last time you had a chip lead in a big tournament? Um, I don't remember. I know that in WPT Korea, which was a little over a year ago, I got off to like a massive start. I went from like 30 to 200k in the first couple levels. Um, besides that, uh, that's the last one I really remember to have something like that happen. You've had a lot of good results over the years. Um, not really a boom or bust kind of guy with your playing style? No, not really. I guess I'm probably a little more like gradual in the way that I play. Um, I don't think I try and like, you know, widen my ranges a ton or really get in there and battle with people. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm kind of on the tighter side. Today you had a really tough spot. You were sitting to the direct right of the chip leader. Mm -hmm. and. From my point of view, maybe the biggest chip I've ever seen at this stage of the tournament, uh, Mr. Brian Senny had probably around 400 big blinds coming into day two, which is about 10% of all the chips. So tell me, for people that are watching at home, what is it like to play in that situation and what kind of advice can you give players? Well, it's really going to depend on how that chip leader wants to adapt to his stack. Some people are like, okay, I've got this crazy chip lead, but I'm still going to play my game and you don't really alter too much. Yeah. Somebody like Brian was... Uh, was really getting in there a little more like he played a fairly large pot where he three bet queen seven offsuit you know against someone where a player behind him would have been committed if he shoved and that's what happened um so somebody like that who is going to get into more pots splash around put some pressure on you uh the way you have to adapt is probably open fewer hands but be willing to put in more chips with the hands that you do play so you know like i had just opened ace queen and had he three bet me uh i'd be much more willing to shove against him than somebody with just like a normal size stack that has to you know, commit their tournament life to a decision there. Like, he's just ready to go for it. All right, well, Tony Dunst will probably have the chip lead, you know, in the not-so-near future, maybe. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how he Let's does. Go. But it's always good to have you on the WPT. Sure. Uh, you guys stay tuned to worldpokertour.com for more coverage of WPT Prague.